Sagittarius, how you doing? We're doing your May reading for this current year. This uh, loft makes my voice sound like absolute trash panda trash cuisine. I swear to Christ. <laughs> Usually I'm a better singer than that. This is not happening for me today. Don't know why, don't care. We're just gonna go ahead and get this reading starting for y'all. So, yay. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if it resonates, no problem. If it doesn't, no problem with that either. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook page, and my Instagram are all down below. Easily accessible. You can just go there, message me, and like I'll take whatever you order. I'm also going to be doing a live stream where I'm going to be doing the soulmates. And then afterwards, I'll take questions. Three questions. It's three. Don't, 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 like. I'm just letting you know. Just up to three. Because sometimes people, you want to ask questions, a lot of questions, and then it just gets confusing. I'm also quite nervous about that because I'm not really socially um, applicable as well. So, I guess that'll be the first card. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Oh, the first three cards, actually. We have the Magician. Bring your manifestations to life. Watch what you say and think. Especially if you bring your thoughts into the world. Like, there's nothing wrong with having shit in your head. You know, your head is your safe space. That is your private place. Nobody, not even the universe, can go in there and, like, fuck with that. That's what I believe. It's when you start bringing it out is when it starts becoming thought-based reality. So be very careful. Someone asked me to explain manifestations. I would say Rich Lop or Cancer Moon Tarot would be better at that because, you know, I, I, I don't want to give people fucky advice if I'm probably wrong. But for me, it's like you have to be careful with manifestations. Like, because whatever you say and think will become real. That's just what the universe does. It's like if you say, I want more money, and the universe is like, okay, you want more money? You will continue to want more money. Yay, I did something for you. Like, that's what the universe does. I just don't get it. I think I explained that to you guys before, but it's like, that's just how the universe is. It's like, it, it, it takes everything you say literally, so you have to be careful. We have the Empress right here. It could be Aries, or this could just be you. This is what you want and wish for. Three of Pentacles in your fears and rejections. The sun, happiness could be Leo. We got the eight of wands in your obstacles and fears. Don't you worry, dear. Or worry, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> This is the um, catalyst and the final result, the beginning and the end. What started this whole full circle right here, which is um, being betrayed. The heart of the matter with literal witnesses. There's someone literally looking down on this like, God damn motherfucker of a truck. The only theme is feeling left out in the cold. Da -da -da. Uh, five pentacles. I have been such a wonderful mood, but I'm literally like, whatever. I don't know. Like, my spirits have been down since, like, I, 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 like, I don't know what it is about the divine play readings, but it just sets me in such a horrible mood, because it's just like, I know what's going on, but it's like, I have to be nice to people who I'm not sure I should be nice to. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like you're not trying to manifest anything, but behind closed doors, it's because there's nothing to manifest from this tree. This tree is like uh, trying to squeeze blood out of a turnip, but you've already gone back so many times to bleed it that like it, it's not happening. You're keeping that a secret. You're just making it look like um, you just don't want to manifest, but in reality, it's just kind of like I have tried so many freaking times, Grr, you know, like that thing, right? Here we have the star man, and you are manifesting. What are you trying to manifest right here, my dear Sagittarius? If this is you, if not, this could be somebody you're dealing with. Oh my god. Let's see. Family, community, having a complete home setting, that white picket fence. But the person who really inspired it is very much burdened by supporting the family so they can play their little games. Could be fuck fuck games, could be genuine games with lots of prizes and shit. Who knows? You know, 
like there, there's this one thing I, I i i always like saying which is um people who complain about um participation trophies never won a trophy you know like the, it, it, i don't know why that just came up to me a little bit like people who complain about other people getting rewarded even when they fail are probably people who were never rewarded for anything like they never accomplished anything that's just how i feel about people who complain about that it's just kind of like are you mad because you didn't get one motherfucker Hmm. Ace? No, Ace. Uh, the Sun. Ace. I guess it's just because there's one person there. Even though they're doing the whole, like, hand thingamabobber like they do in, um, that one dance. You, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? I can't remember what it's called for the life of me because I have the brain of a goldfish. Um, but that's what it kind of reminds me of, that whole synchronicity. Um, total alignment with their happiness, Right? And you want to let your guard down so you can have that. That requires you putting your guard down in order to get this happiness. Could be a Leo. Leo Sagittarius could have along pretty well, I think. Um, this Empress right here, this could be you or it could be an Aries. You never know. But this is somebody with the um, energy of wanting to try to um, be respectable, be loving, be kind, be motherly. That whole mother picture. She's literally all of the queens combined. Upright, though. Like, she's not being anything. She's literally within her element. She's within her power. She feels comfortable with that. Because you're tired of being left out in the cold. So you feel, you want to get aligned back with yourself. Because you're tired of being left out in the cold. Like, you were an empress and you got put out like you were a fucking commoner, I feel like. That's what you're wanting. Or, cross watchers, this is what you want done to the Sagittarius, which is just kind of like, what the fuck, man? Like, or, like, either or. This is just a wish for somebody. Like, someone wants to be treated like the empress they are after someone has treated them like a commoner and just sat there and watched them suffer. Which is, like, fuck the person who did that. Like, they can go ahead and watch you suffer. You know? They can go ahead and watch you suffer. Anybody can go ahead and watch anybody suffer. That's a really fucked up thing. But it's, like, it's almost like your survival mode is kicked in, too. Because Sagittarius, like, you guys are the moral compass, but you know how to push everyone you past their moral compasses in order to enjoy yours like you guys get really mad when people tell you that you're wrong because it's like you're almost insulted that i don't know how to explain it except that maybe like you get mad because people judge your morality when you know full well what it is you're doing it's just like i know what i'm doing is wrong but i don't feel bad about it why the fuck are you trying to make me feel bad about it? almost like that kind of thing right And I feel like your survival mode's kicked in. And now it's like, all right, I got to survive this enough to look better than the motherfucker who put me out. That's almost what it feels like to me. And this could be the cross watchers too. Now, what's going against you is this action right here. The eight of wands. Something is taking off and it's possibly a relationship. The fuck does that mean? What? How is, you, how is, how is that going against anybody? Or are you moving too fast in a relationship? And you feel like this person is going to end up putting you out in the cold or whatever? Or something that is moving so quick in a relationship that, like, you feel like you're put out of your own home? And you don't feel like the empress anymore? Because over here, like, you know, that... What should we call it? That chessboard where someone's supporting it. It's like, they're sitting there holding, like, the fucking queen. While everyone else is playing it. And they're just below, acting like a servant, holding the table up. Like, how is that cool for anybody, really? Here's the rejections with the three of pentacles hanging on by a thread to your pentacle instead of letting it support you, letting your talents die. Slowly but surely. Um, feeling like things probably won't work, or there could even be, like, a workplace relationship that went on that led to a breakup of some sort. And it's got you plagued in your brain, so you could be fearing or rejecting this. You feel like something might not be able to work out. You might not be balanced enough to work anything out. And it's actually really um, causing you to be unbalanced. Like, you're unbalanced because you're letting yourself be unbalanced. Well, I'm still probably out there hunting more morels. My husband's picked up the ha a hobby of picking morels. So if anybody wants some to sit me with that. If you don't know what a morel is, it's a West Virginia delicacy just like our ramps. 
Oh, okay. Um, the reason for this ten of swords right here, and like I mentioned earlier, someone's watching this. But this is not someone who is in this current position. This is like the present moment, right? The reason like you feel I like got the ten of swords right here as Kettles' final result is because you're afraid of this happening again and you feel trapped because of it. This betrayal already has happened. Um, but you are almost sitting here watching it play over and over again in your head and now you're just trapped in it it's just like i don't want to get hurt again because i'll get hurt again like a self-fulfilling prophecy almost if the eight of pentacles was right here self-fulfilling prophecy no doubt um you're causing your own betrayals to happen um you're so scared of trusting people not to hurt you that you might just be going out of your way to hurt other people to avoid getting hurt and it's you're you're literally betraying yourself you're keeping yourself in your own box. And the ending theme is going on a new adventure because you were left out in the fucking cold. Oh, yeah, that's there, too. There's a lot of double energy. Yeah. Um, you're going off because you're tired of feeling left out in the cold. You want your power back. Right? Same with Cross Watchers if you're watching this. You both might be feeling the same way. Let's see what the card says. <laughs> oh, okay. Two cards already. Yeah, you are totally ready to take off. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, definitely could be you. You're ready just to take action, to move, to go, the whoosh, to get the booty call. You're done. You're over it. You, you just want to be impulsive. Like, I need to go on a fucking adventure to get my head straight and to stop worried about all of this bullshit. But, you know, your obstacle is not letting... Um, I want to say not letting a relationship take off. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, that's the actual obstacle. Like, you're too scared to um, let a relationship run its course the way it's supposed to. You're too scared to initiate actually being in a relationship for some of you. Or you think that, like, the action in this relationship isn't good for you because you still got, like, double ten swords right here. Um, you ready to take off? You're ready to um, make your own offers with the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn's card, also Taurus or Virgo. Oh, Lord. Um, you are ready to take off so you can work on yourself. Now, look at all these little motherfuckers down here. Look at them all. They're all bored of what she is trying to accomplish. And you know what she's doing? She's just like, oh, well, I'm happy for myself. I'm proud of myself. You guys don't have to be proud of me. It makes me sad. But, um... Uh, bitch got my money you know i got my shit you might even run into a capricorn on your a little adventure and that might be the obstacle too of like having a romantic partner just pop in out of nowhere while you're just trying to take off like fuck this i'm done i am so done i am so burnt out and all of a sudden you're just queen of pentacles that nobody looks at or respects and yet she's standing right in your way with this offer like hey Nobody else appreciates me. Would you appreciate me? That could be a possibility. Um, I've dated a Sagittarius once. And my brother's a Sagittarius. I'm Sagittarius rising. No. No, no, no. Uh, I've noticed that Sagittarius really don't get along with each other either. That's one thing I definitely learned. Um, very awkward. Ooh, what is this? And you feel like what you've invested in, in all of this... Um, you're kind of coming out being like, you know, this, none of this is fulfilling to me. None of this makes me happy. All of these choices I've already had, all these choices I've already dealt with. Like, you're definitely looking at your options and you're trying to come out with something with the High Priestess, reverse. But it's also kind of like, you're not sure how to express your, um, desires, your emotions. You want your cups filled but I feel like you're worried that, like, you're alone in how it's going to be filled out. Like, you, you feel like nobody matches me. Almost. But that's what is perpetuating with this, um, Ten of Swords combo. It's like, you not trying to work on your mentality right here with how you feel trapped and stagnant is what's causing you to continue to relive this betrayal and keep betraying yourself, keeping yourself stuck in that box instead of trying to get out of it. And I think that's the problem right here. You're not sure how to express yourself emotionally to come out with it to begin with. You're too, you're too dazed and confused and you're on the outside to actually let people know what's on the inside, I think. Because you're too afraid. I don't know. 
that's your Sagittarius. I gotta move to the last three. And then, like, uh, hopefully we'll see some of you guys tonight. Um, please try to take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.